this certainly explains the value of human life and how tragic and, and uh, in such a blink of an eye how a world can change for so many different people. I appreciate you all spending the time here with us to try and explain to this community what's happened today. There will be questions that we'll have answered over time. We don't have the answers today. One of the reasons we took so much time is to make sure that we could sit down with these families and hopefully answer their questions. There's been some criticism about how long we've been standing out here. Uh, these folks that have done this work, these crime scene detectives, investigators, troopers from the Peru Post, from the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, has been very, very methodical and purpose-driven, so please understand that. But right now, I think what's important is that maybe we stop all the nonsense with, you, with the way in which we, 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 we get along in this world, and maybe we pay attention to the things that really matter. It's almost 35 years for me in this business. I've never seen anything quite like it, and my heart is broken. You know, this part of us died today, too. Just like you guys and gals, we're all human beings, right? We just, we do, we do things like this by choice. It's our chosen profession. But that doesn't mean we, we don't cry, that we don't hurt, and we don't go home and wonder what we've done with our lives and why we do what we do. Same thing that all of you guys ask yourselves, I'm sure. But isn't this a, isn't this a dose of, of humility for all of us to understand what we do and why, why it is we do this? You, this is not normal, seeing two little boys that are twins laying there, just not normal. So it's important that, that, that we have this relationship with you and you help us share this message of humility and kindness and grace and appreciation and love and respect. And if we do all those things, our world's a better place.